I never asked for this. Deus Ex Human Revolution. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it okay? Uh, what's good and bad about it? What's the score? Should you buy it or should you not? I'm going to try to tell you in this game review of Deus Ex Human Revolution, uh, a sequel to, or not really a sequel, a prequel to the original Deus Ex. And uh, I have to say, this is definitely worthy of the of Deus Ex. I mean, it definitely takes all the elements from the original game and really puts the conspiracy and everything into the new game. But I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of this game right now. I'm going to start out with the cons. And uh, right now, um, really, sort of the, it's, it's supposed to be an RPG. But it's it's not really. It's really it's a really linear RPG. There's not a lot of side quests, and uh, it's very. I mean, it's it's a good. There's some good side quests, but they don't last that long. They're not really involving some of the characters in it. I mean, you don't really care about. I mean, you're just doing it for the reward or whatever. You're not really getting anything from it. So that's one big problem I had with it. Also, the there's a, some graphic glitches when you are up high when you're looking down like you look at the time the the square of uh like the seraph building and it's on the complete wrong side the city is like turned the wrong side when you're up in an elevator and stuff so another sort of like graphics glitch there and those are my two big cons about this game but i'm gonna tell you all the pros of this game and there are a lot of pros um first off you, you you're Adam Jensen, and you you enter a, you get a tragedy uh, early in the story, and you have to be forced to get augmented to survive. And um, originally, you think you lost uh, pretty much the per you pretty much lost your girlfriend that isn't your girlfriend, but you still love or something like that. It's weird. Some pros about this is the story is absolutely second to none. I mean, this story is insane. It's great. Um, the conspiracy is right on right on tap with the original Deus Ex, how it did its conspiracy and how it twisted you and turned you to other uh, places and uh, secret societies and such. It does all that. It's, it's great. Also, the main characters are pretty, you know, they're involved in the story, their voice acting is great, and also the music by uh, Michael McCon, I believe his name is, is absolutely perfect for this game. I mean, this is like one soundtrack, probably besides like Skyrim, that has just been so perfect for this game that matches the environment and everything so well that it's it's awesome. It's it's truly awesome. Also, another pro is just the gameplay. The gameplay is awesome. You can upgrade your augmentations to be invisible, to to freaking jump off buildings, to to kill like ten enemies at a time, and um, with like a typhoon, it's it's amazing. I mean, you can see through walls. Uh, it's it's great. Uh, there's it's it's amazing. Um, the gameplay, the shooting, the guns, they're pretty good. I mean, the cover system is absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's great. Um, also, uh, the upgrade system and your augmentations are just so good. I mean, you look so badass and stuff, and you have a pr it's and the voice acting is it's really great. Um, Adam Jensen, he sounds like a freaking smoker, but he sounds like a badass. It's it's awesome. Also, another pro about this game is the villains. And in Director's Cut, the boss battles were better, but I'm going to just sort of leave that out in this review because they were, you know, a lot of people said they were outdated, but I was just, I liked them, but some of them were too hard if you didn't have the Typhoon. And that's the one problem a lot of people had. But in Director's Cut, they expanded the boundaries of all the uh, boss battles, which are which is really great, so you can basically just run around everywhere and get a bunch of cool shit. Um, also, another pro about this game is the environment is just so 
I mean, you really get involved in the environment when you're walking around, you look around, you see all these people, and you see the augmentations, and you see the world, and you read about the world today, and it and it's it's believable, and that's the thing. Maybe not as early as it says, but as down the line, it's believable as a sort of future for us, and that's another good uh, thing about this. It's It really plays good for... Uh, consumers I'd say like myself um, so those are my pros and cons now this game I would give it probably a 92 out of a hundred and I don't I don't say that because you know a lot of people were giving it a little bad reviews and some really good but it's just sort of like a really good game if you get into it if you don't get into it you won't like it but if you do uh, you're gonna love it, and it's gonna be one of your favorite games. Also, I didn't mention this about uh, the gameplay, but the stealth mechanics are amazing. The AI is really, it's really well done. How they see you, uh, you can be invisible, as I said before, and you can sneak around. And there's so many ways to approach a certain level. Um, so a lot of replayability. A 92 out of 100 for those pros and cons reasons. And um, I'm going to have to say you should definitely buy this game. You need to buy this game. It's a, I think it's, it's, it's a classic. I really do. It's, it's right on with what the original Deus Ex tried to do and pulled off. Not like the stupid Deus Ex Invisible War trailer sort of piece of sh trailer. Fuck the trailer. Um, the game wasn't that great at all. It ended well, but other than that, it was terrible. Um... But yeah, you should definitely buy it, and it, it, it's, I, I have five ratings on games, terrible, bad, okay, good, and great. I'd have to rate this a great, because it is, it's just everything you do, I mean, at the end you get to choose what happens to the world, and you don't know what happens, and you're like, we need a sequel to something that we know what happens to this, uh, to our choices and stuff, so... Hopefully they do something like uh, The Walking Dead, where you have your save files transfer, trans, you know, um, transferred over, which would be amazing. Um, but anyways, you should definitely buy this game. It's great, and uh, that is my review on Deus Ex: Human Revolution, one of my greatest uh, games of all time. I've I've played it for a lot of times, for as you know, as I've told you before. I mean, so yeah. Uh, what did you think about Deus Ex: Human Revolution? Uh, did you uh, disagree with one of my uh, pros and cons? Was I out of line on some of mine? And um, what did you really like? What did you hate about it? And what's your rating and stuff like that? And uh, I'm really interested to see that. Post it down in the comment section below. And um, I'll see you for our next gaming review.